Okay, today's watch is the Ingersoll Bison number 33. Um, the watch has an automatic movement, which means it does not have to be wound. It simply winds itself by the movement of your body. Uh, the reserve time on it uh, isn't isn't that great at all. The actual reserve time, I honestly don't know. But um, usually it'll run okay if you're moving around pretty good for maybe a little bit over, over a day. Uh, but uh, after about a, after about two days, you'll have to get, reset the time on it because the movement's not that great. The diameter is 52 millimeters, roughly uh, 64 millimeter case diameter, uh, including the crown. Thickness is approximately 15 millimeters, and the weight is about 5.3 ounces, or, or roughly 150 grams. And the glass is a metal crystal. Its MSRP floats anywhere on the high end from around $700. On the low end, you might be able to find it for right around $280 or so. Dollars. Um, I think I bought mine uh, years ago from, like, I think, the watchery.com back then. Um, pretty fast shipping. Um, and at first, the watch was totally fine, but there are some little... Uh, um, decorative pieces inside have come loose inside I need to get fixed and sometimes they get in the way of the hands moving around and I got a wiggle to watch around so it'll move um, but this is more for style um, it's big on my small wrist the the, the uh, straps there are not the original I actually got those straps from a watch store at Pentagon City Mall up in Arlington I need to buy some new straps because those carbon fiber straps are starting to die or flip over to the blue side and use that side for a while. I'll, we'll see. But um, I'm happy with the watch overall because it's more for style. But um, it would be nice if the movement was more accurate. And it would be nice if the watch was a little more durable. But considering um, the, the different kinds of jobs that I do, um, it still held up pretty good because I've had this watch for years. I, mean, I, like, I like the way it looks um, a lot. Um, also, the watch uh, is... Uh, water resistant up to about 300 uh, feet so if you want to go under water with it you can water won't hurt it uh, and um, you know it's it's not a bad watch considering the abuse I put it through uh, only this watch for probably about seven or so years anyway guys that's it uh, Ingersoll Bison number 33 um, got mine I think from the watchery.com about seven years ago and considering how much I bang it around it's actually held up uh, pretty good although I use it most of the time more for style as opposed to actually keeping time so not a bad piece of horology for just under $300 considering it could cost as much as $700So, thanks guys for watching this uh, review of this uh, Ingersoll Bison. This, I've had this one for a long time, um, and those are my thoughts on it for owning it for a long time. Um, again, on this channel, I don't want to get too geeky into details about watches. Maybe some watches I'll get kind of geeky, but I don't want to get too geeky. But I've had this one for a while, um, and uh, despite its flaws, overall I do like it because of, 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 the, uh, of the styling. But uh, I want to thank you guys that came over from my previous channel, uh, Ride Cheer 757. Remember, those videos are going to be up for a little while, but I'm going to slowly start deleting those videos. Uh, and I may either delete the whole thing or keep a few of them up. Um, so thanks for you guys coming over to my new channel, um, Atlantic Ocean Watches. And for everybody who's brand new uh, to this channel, thank you so much for coming over to this, this new channel. This is the second video I've made for this new channel, and I really appreciate you guys subscribing, liking, commenting and if you already have experience with this timepiece or something similar um, comment uh, below um, and I'm going to be ordering some uh, as, as of course situation permits I'm going to be ordering some more timepieces from various places um, of course showing off what I already own of course um, and commenting on my experience with those timepieces and doing some unboxings and uh, things of that nature. All right, so from uh, Chesapeake Beach here in Virginia Beach, doing some exercising, walking around, walking the fish, and, you know, try to enjoy what we can uh, during this whole uh, craziness. Uh, this is Atlantic Ocean Watch, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and the beautiful scenery. You guys, be safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.